Good morning, everybody. Welcome back and thank you for joining me today. Um, so before I get started, a few things. Um, if you are a subscriber of mine, welcome back. If not, and you are a first time watcher, please subscribe to my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every time a new video is uploaded and released onto YouTube. Now, I know a lot of you have been complaining that you're not getting notifications anymore, email notifications. I don't know what's up with that. Google seems to have done something, Gmail, I don't really know. Um, but just keep in mind, if you're not getting notifications that I'm uploading, that I've uploaded a video, just remember that every three days I, re I release a video. So if you haven't seen a notification saying Canela's uploaded a video in like a week, that should be a red flag that something's going on because I try my very best, so far so good, um, to release a video every three days. And somewhere in between, there will always be, or sometimes be, um, a construction renovation video, which I will hopefully have one early next week. Um, it is Monday, August 31st. I can't believe September is tomorrow. It has been a crazy summer. The kids are going back to school, which makes us all nervous, but we will see what happens. Um, so I don't have any new pieces to show you guys just yet. As you can see, um, I have that diptych down there. It still needs to be um, resined. I have the, uh, I'll show you actually. Some may or may not have seen on uh, Instagram. So the last video I did, uh, the piece is now dry. It still needs to be resin. So here's the first panel. Actually, I think it's still a bit wet. Uh, maybe just a smidge. But um, it this panel turned out pretty good. Um, got the dark purple and the magenta, a little bit of the magenta there at the top. So that piece is okay. But the other piece decided to take a little slide. Um, so I don't know what happened. I, I moved them, which is my first rule of thumb. Do not move your paintings if you don't have to. Paint, leave them where they are until they're at least a day or two dry, two days at least, and then move them. But no, antsy pantsy here. I had other things to do. I had other commissions to work on and I needed my table space. So I moved these onto my drying rack thinking it was level. Well, this one wasn't so level, and as you can see, it slid down this way. None of the rest of it slid, actually, just this part, which is so bizarre. However, I still think it's pretty, and um, I am going to discount it. I am going to put it on a cheaper price than normal because of this little slide happening here. Um, but the rest of it is still pretty gorgeous. So there's the um, magenta conacridone magenta and the prism violet at the bottom so i believe i can't remember which way they go but anywho no it's kind of like this way or something yes there it is that's how it goes because those blues match so if you're interested in this piece you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com and um there goes one of my bottles. Uh, oh, and it landed upright. There you go, bottle flip on point. So if you're interested in this diptych, they are 11 by 14 inches, and I'm going to um, discount it because of that sliding thing. Now, after the intro, um, I don't have any outdoor pieces to show you, but what I am gonna show you is um, on my table, I am going to lay out everything I have currently for sale from recently done pieces to pieces done a month or two ago to pieces done almost a year ago um, i want everything out on the table um, from canvases to trinket boxes to some wood pieces i want it all out i want to show you guys everything um, a lot of the older pieces are going to be significantly discounted some of the newer pieces discounted not as much but still some sort of you know um, savings. So if you are interested in any of the pieces, I will show you momentarily. Again, please email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. So I think that's all I have to say. Stay tuned for the display of the pieces I have. 
and then we'll get uh, on to today's pouring. So be right back. Be right back. I have to wait five seconds for this to kick in before I can actually click it. So I'll be right back. All right, everybody. So first off, excuse the mess. <laughs> Um, now here are all the pieces I basically have at the moment that are available for purchase. Um, some are newer pieces, some are pretty old pieces, so the prices will depend on the piece itself, um, but they are all on sale, potentially, pretty much. Um, so we'll just start with this. This is the uh, 16 by 20 inch um, orange base Dutch pour which has a coat of crystal resin on it. Then we move along and we have the trinket boxes that I made. Jewelry box, trinket box, call it whatever you want. Um, I think this is a four by four inch, not really 100% sure, but so these I did a while ago. These have the bloom technique on them. Um, there we go. This one's a little mini, but you can see just by my hand, I guess, how big they are. So those are available. Um, then we have these coasters as well. These I just made with the Loli Vefi uh, silicone molds. Then we have here the red base Dutch pour triptych. Um, so we have here the uh, 9 by 12, 8 by 10, and 8 by 10. So there is the triptych that's also available. Lots of shimmer in this one and shine. This one also has a coat of crystal resin. Now this lovely piece, <laughs> this was from my beginner days. Um, so this is a four piece set. And uh, as you can see, it's got a varnish on it. That was back in my varnishing days. So this piece is pretty old. Um, one of my new, my newer, sorry, not newest. One of my oldest pieces. Um, and that is uh, on sale, just trying to get rid of everything. This is a little, I think this is a five by five, um, but I did a tree ring pour on this way, way back in the day, um, and it has resin on it. So this is also available. It's just been sitting on a shelf forever. Um, then of course we have the ballerina, which is significantly discounted because of the little flaw right here on her leg, which I never noticed at the time of making her. So because of that, but if you put her up on the wall, you can't really see it. So because of that though, she is, um, sorry, got interrupted by a phone call. Sophia yeah. was calling me from grandma's house. She's down at grandma's, but anywho. Um, so as I was saying, she is discounted significantly because of the flaw. So next we have here some of the abstract pieces I had done and shown you guys on a video. Um, so these I believe are 10 by 10 inch, pretty sure. So we have the pinks and the purples here with silver and the other one has gold, obviously. So these are available for purchase. Um, then of course, you guys all know this piece. It's a 10 by 20 inch, only two colors on this one, which is the gold and I believe it was berry. And then of course, 10 by 24 inch. Oh, so this one has varnish, as you can see. This is the 12 by 24 inch, the blowout I did um, by mouth. And this also has two coats of the high gloss varnish. And then last but not least, I have still these two um, 20 inch rounds. Um, blue one and purple. So those are the pieces that I have right now that are available for purchase. I would like to um, get rid of them um, because I just, oh, I didn't show you guys this. Sorry, I forgot this cutting board. So um, this is, now what happened is I bought it and it had a crack in it. However, if you hang it up on the wall, it's not actually that noticeable. Um, but that's what the back looks like. It's a mess. This is me practicing because it was cracked. Um, I actually used it as a practice piece. So, um, if you hang it up on a wall though, let's just see here, hang it up without it falling. I know this isn't exactly the greatest hook, but it makes a really lovely piece for decoration in your kitchen, or you could really just use it as like a cheese board. 
Um, the resin is food grade safe. It does have art resin on it because um, this was done a long time ago. So it does have art resin. So that is also significantly on sale because of the crack in it and the back looks like a mess. But so there you have it. These are the pieces I currently have for sale. Um, again, some are more discounted than others, depending on the piece. Um, so if you are interested in any of these pieces, please email me at canelasiraco at gmail.com. Please do not leave a comment below asking, how much is that piece? Just, just email me, okay, guys? So it's just easier for me that way to keep track of everything. I don't get to see all the comments all the time. Um, so it's just easier if you email me. So... That's it, let's get on to painting. Sorry, I also forgot about this. The three tier stand, um, dessert stand, cake stand, I don't know, whatever you want stand, you can put anything on it. Um, it's not food grade safe though, um, but you could always put food on it with like a cupcake liner or put something underneath. But uh, yeah, this is also available for purchase. Okay, now on to painting. All right, guys, welcome back. And I am finally, this takes a long time. I have finally flooded my canvases. So what we have here are two 10 by 20 inch canvases. Kind of looks like checkers actually. Um, so what I did was I flooded this side with white and obviously this side with black. And um, a lot of people are wondering how I do that. See, I'd like to record this to show it to you guys. But honestly, it takes about like 15, 20 minutes and it's just impossible. So what do I do? I have my two squeeze bottles, my black one and my white one. I go across in the center, or in this case in the center, and I did a bead all the way across. Then I took the white one and went beside it, uh, beside the black bead, and I went like, I did another thick line. That way they are in the center together. And then I took my big bottles, my white bottle, and my black bottle, which is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White and Black. And I poured it and I spread it with my spatula. And here we are. I made sure all my sides were covered. If you want to know how I mix my paints, for those of you who are new watching, check out video number 63. I will link it up here at the top. And there you have it. So I'm going to just um, torch all these bubbles real quick because there's lots of air bubbles going on in here and you definitely want to get want to get rid of those because if you don't they will pop eventually and it will leave specks little teeny microscopic air bubbles of white or black in your paints and i see a juno hair and i'm gonna get my tweezers here and just take that out that's what happens when i have hair on my clothes I try not to wear clothes. I try to have clean clothes when I, not to wear clothes. Yeah, I try not to wear clothes at all. <laughs> I try to wear clean clothes when I'm down here. Okay, so um, I thought I'd try something fun. Um, so this color split, obviously, um, I've been watching a lot of Orinska, my friend Orinska. She's been doing these awesome color splits. Uh, maybe one day I'll be brave enough to try the gray and pink that she does. But until then, I'll stick to this black and white one for this one. Um, but what I am going to try is a multitude of colors. So what I've gone, got here are all iridescent paints. And they're all by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. So I have iridescent green blue by Pebeo. Uh, iridescent green yellow. I have iridescent blue black, iridescent violet blue, iridescent blue green, which I'm almost out of. I have to make a new batch, um, iridescent red blue, and finally iridescent orange yellow. So I've got quite a few colors here. What is that? Four, five, six, seven. Um, that's a lot of colors. I know I did a pour like this way, way back in the day when I used to actually flood the colors as well. I'll try to remember and find the video and link it up at the top. I'll try to remember to do that. So I don't know how this is going to work out. Uh, I figured I'd try the iridescence. Um, I worry about the orange and the red. The rest, totally not worried about. 
Uh, I worry about how these colors are going to mix together and hopefully not make mud, but I'm going to try it anyway because I just feel like it and I feel like living on the edge. So let's get started and uh, give it a go and see what happens. So I'm basically just going to do a straight line um, follow here. I'm probably, yeah, see, just kind of like this. I kind of want to load up the colors because I want to try and be able to blow it out as much as possible because I don't want to leave too much negative space. Um, well, I want to leave some, but just not a lot, right? So I don't know how that's going to work out. We shall see. All right, I really need to top up this uh, green blue bottle. I don't have much left. But do I have enough for today? I do. Yay. Um, well, as I keep doing this, I'll tell you guys. You guys obviously saw my two paddles. If you are on Instagram or Facebook, you would have seen the completed paddles. I would have loved to show them to you today in the video. Um, however, last night, Allison shot me a text message and said, hey, I'm in the area because she doesn't live where I live. She happened to be in the area and she asked if she could pick up the paddles, um, which was fine. But uh, I really wanted to show you guys on camera, but that didn't happen. But I did take some pretty cool pictures. Um, I got all dressed up and looked pretty and I took some pictures. So I will put those pictures, if you are interested in seeing them, um, at the end of the video. Okay, well, at least I'll try to remember. I always forget things, so please don't, you know, hold me to it. But I'll try to remember to put pictures um, or if you're on Instagram or Facebook, you can find the pictures there as well. Um, but I'm very, very happy with how the paddles turned out. Um, they were a lot of work and um, I worked really hard to get them done because there was a deadline for them. But they are done. Okay, well, that is a beauty of colors. Uh, so let's uh, blow this out and uh, see what comes of it. Well, that's interesting. Very interesting. So there are a few, I can tell, muddy spots. But I'm not sure if that's because of the orange or the red or if because it's mixing in with the black. However, I still think it looks pretty neat. Um, you know, there's like, I mean, when I bring you guys down for a close up, you'll see a definite pop of color here. Um, I don't know what to think about this one, actually. Let me first, let me get these uh, little fluffs out of here before I forget. Hmm. You know, the more I look at it, the more I kind of like it. Now I'm going to see if I can kind of mess with it a little bit. I love uh, this one. I love. I'm really, really happy with this one. I love the little negative space here and here. This one kind of got a little oomphed. And I'm not sure I'm liking that very much. The good news is I have a lot of extra black and a lot of extra white if I want to fix it. I like this bottom part. This part's throwing me off. Just this part. Um, because I kind of wanted to see some negative space in here. And I don't like this part here. So what I'm going to try to do is this. I know that's a lot of white paint, but you know what? It's white. I'm okay with white. If I was wasting uh, a lot of colored paint for a base Dutch pour, then I would be a little bummed, but uh, I don't get so bummed with white. So then what do I do is I just take my squeeze bottle and I add white just to kind of push the colors down. And then my problem is going to be blowing this out all the way at the other end of the table. This one turned out so pretty. I really like that one. All right, let's do this carefully. 
slowly but surely you just want to kind of add enough just to kind of push it out and then I'm gonna come over here on this side because I can't reach from over there move all these bottles over okay and I'm gonna try very carefully oh I got a hair in there jeez So what I'm doing is I'm just blowing all of that extra white paint off. I don't want it all pooling here because it's just too much paint. There we go. So now I have a dip here, which I actually really like. Now I'm just going to slowly probably have to do it from here again just kind of just give it a little blow to give it a design so it's not like a straight edge line and so that looks better already to me There we go. I like the green there, so I wanted the green to come out. Okay. Let's see what else. I'm not touching any of this. And the bottom of this looks so pretty. I wonder if I should just blow a little bit of the orange out over here. Kind of not liking the way this is darting out so i'm gonna take my finger and just lightly touch the top of it and bring it back like that just like that you can always just play with it and just use your finger as any like an eraser right there we go i don't think i can reach over here we'll see barely but that's okay all right i am going to leave the rest of this and i actually really like it i'm not torching anything because i don't want these tiny microscopic bubbles everywhere but i decided i wanted to try oh see we're not matchy matchy here i don't know if i could bring any of this purple down let me see oh i can there we go i did it and I'll bring this up a bit. Now we're matchy matchy and matchy matchy. There we go. Perfect. All right. So I'm not going to touch any more of it. I'm not torching any of it. I like it just the way it is. Um, there's a lot of rainbow colors in here, guys. Let me bring you guys down for a close up and see what I see. All right, guys, so here is the close up. And of course, I'm going to turn the studio lights off after and I will show you guys what it looks like with the lights off. But there is some beautiful rainbow colors in here. And yes, I agree. There are a little few muddy spots like right there, for example. But I still really like this piece. And this this rainbow of colors right here is actually super pretty. So I'm really hoping that this kind of stays the way it is. I made sure, as you can see, that my pieces were leveled when I started. So I'm hoping it stays just like this, doesn't really shift or move too much. So there is the piece with the studio lights on. So let's turn them off and see what it looks like with the shimmer. All right, guys, so here it is with the studio lights off. And let's check out you can definitely see the shimmer in here. So if you are interested in this piece, you can email me at canelasaraco at gmail.com and you can claim it. Um, all the information you guys need to know is listed in the description below. My Amazon links, my PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel. It's always greatly appreciated. Um, 
low leave effie discount if you want 10 percent off low leave effie products squeeze bottles um silicone mats all kinds of stuff you can uh, get 10 percent off using code canela 10 um, and 10 percent off your entire order so check out all the information below guys there's lots of information don't forget to check out my um, son lucas and his youtube channel i would greatly appreciate it if you guys head on over there and of course, don't forget Juno and Echo. And I have put up a video in a long time of the doggies. Life has just been so busy, but I will try and do that soon. So bear with me, guys. Got lots going on, construction and everything. But so far, so good. I'm handling it all. I'm not going crazy yet, but who knows? Anywho, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Um, really appreciate it. And until the next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care. Bye.